I can't. Hello, see everybody, it. and welcome to Freezing Land. Is this I Freezing mean, Land? Somebody just walked past. Somebody just walked past. The gate is open. It is frozen cold, guys. Frozen cold. The grass cold. is white. The grass is white with the sound of music. Does that mean it's Christmas? Yeah, it's gonna snow today. It's gonna snow. Oh my goodness, Amelia! If it snows in a new house, we can make our own snow sled igloo scenario. Cause we even go down the zip line on one. Amelia does want me to build a zip line, guys. Leave comments. And let me know if and it's possible. Leave comments if we want to go down into the secret area to the basement. Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> Did everyone hit like in that video? Yeah. Do we actually have to go into the secret area in the basement <laughs> yeah. before, before yeah. we leave this house? Yeah. Is that is that a meal deal? Yeah. Okay, I, f I totally forgot about that. All right. Well, we're gonna need we're gonna need uh, we're gonna need little headsets with and lights. Remember the thing we have headsets I with told lights. you about that little big light, and then. Like little fish, big fish, cardboard box. Big fish, little 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 fish, cardboard box. I need to go outside and pick up poo. This is actually my favorite weather to pick up dog poo. That sounds gross, but I was just saying this earlier. So it was really frosty this morning. And when it's frosty, it is the best time. Like other dog owners will know what I'm saying, especially if you have multiple dogs. This is the best ever weather for picking up poo because it's all frozen and hard. <laughs> the worst is when it's raining. I just don't do it when it's raining. Like there's no point. I would literally just have my hands full of slop and it would be so unhygienic and so disgusting. So I just don't do it when it's like raining nonstop. I'll try and do it um, when it's been dry for a while. There's my poo picking up uh, strategy for you, in case you were wondering. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I can't wait for you to stop doing this. It's so annoying. Not annoying, like irritating, but just like, frustrating more so I think is the word that I'm looking for <laughs> I think he's teething as well are you teething mister are you teething hmm? so close but operation bathroom has begun so currently in the house I think I've talked about this before there's only um, bath, like showers, as you can see over here. There's like shower units everywhere, but there's only a bath in the ensuite of the master. So I had a bit of a, a freak out about that because um, movement's happening. Um, a date has been scheduled now officially, uh, booked in and all, and um, it's a matter of days away. So <laughs> I've got to get this uh, completed here. So. Um, I bought a bath, toilet, and I bought everything for this bathroom. Um, and to speed things up and to reduce costs, I'm gonna do most of it myself. But, uh, <laughs> don't know, I've never done a bathroom before, but I never renovated a house before, um, before I started this, so I have hope. I have hope. Leave a comment if you believe in me. Do the believe in me dance. The first piece has arrived from the Bath Co. Exquisite Bats in 2003. I'm gonna to to take this thing down because it's, it's taking up too much space over here because we've got four children, so I'm trying to create a battery experience for four children. So I kind of want a 170 uh, bath, but that goes from here to about here. This whole thing is like 200, but uh, this, I believe in me. Somebody has to believe me. <laughs> Let's go bring all the stuff up.
so I'm gonna try and put away the clothes, oops, that the kids got new. Um, this is the dress I was talking about from Monsoon. It's so adorable. Way too big for Alessia now, but that's fine. I also love this. I swear I didn't even know that Monsoon did kids clothes. I know they used to, I thought they stopped, but what do I know? This color suits Alessia so well because of her skin and her hair and eye color, which is so cute. Okay, I might not hang swimwear. <laughs> this color is great. Of course, pink. Honestly, I don't even know if this swimming costume fits. Actually, it probably does because she's tiny. Also from Jules. Emilia's got one really similar with a horse on it so they can be matching. This, I'm gonna put this. Oh. And the coat. Look at this coat, guys. It's 18 to 24 months though, so it's massive. Um, also because she's so teensy. This isn't gonna fit her for a while, but that is absolutely fine. And yeah, there we go. That's it, that's it folks. Out of time, gotta go into school run. Eduardo is rugby today, so I gotta pick Amelia up, chill with her for a bit, then go to rugby with Eduardo. Edwardian. I was actually quite a little good rugby player, actually. I'm sorry, who is the greatest rugby team in the entire planet? Oh, Ireland. Hey, ole, ole, ole. <laughs> oh, no. I'm, I'm doing children in need in my room. And I'm showing this unicorn book. But I really do like it. So, Amelia has found the device yeah. that we need to go investigating in the My scary destiny. basement. Yeah. Your destiny. Yeah. Yeah. What if what? Uh -huh. I'm making me angry. You're making you angry? Wait. Oh, you want to put the... Oh. Evil. 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 Can you keep this book for Okay, second? I'll keep that book. Because you might want it. Welcome to... I heard this really interesting, it's not, it's like one of these crazy things that you think of, but imagine, right, plants were farming humans, so they were giving them their seeds and stuff for us to eat and to keep us going until we eventually demise and go back into the earth and feed the plants. Plants are farming humans as a food source. It makes sense. I am making dinner for tonight. Tonight we're having, we're using Annabelle Caramel. Oh, Annabelle's my favorite. And we're gonna do this herb crusted salmon. This is the first time I make this. Yes. This is what it's supposed to look like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So hopefully it will look like this at the end. <laughs> He's smiling. <laughs> yes. Um, so we've got salmon. We've got a little bit of butter. <laughs> <laughs> You're distracting everybody. <laughs> we've got butter, panko breadcrumbs, which are my favorite and some lemon zest, grate it, and then some dill, chopped. So far this looks really easy. It says you can make it in 15 minutes. So we'll see how that goes. Got the oven preheating. Um, I also, I'm gonna need salt and pepper, and that's pretty much it. So, preheat the oven, done. Arrange the salmon fillets on the baking sheet, and season. Alright, 
mix the butter and the dill together. Let's do it this way so you guys can see. And then we're gonna make this into a herby butter. Probably should have softened this a little bit longer. I just made some roast potatoes with rosemary, garlic, salt, pepper, olive oil, and um, I put some carrots in as well. Probably overdid the, not overdid, but like I probably did too many potatoes, but Jonathan loves potatoes, so I just did a lot. This would probably be better with chicken, but I just didn't know what else to put with the salmon. I don't know, I just had like a bit of a brain fart. <laughs> so this is what we've gone with. Um, so hopefully this is good. This is also from the Annabelle Carmel recipe book. Um, it was the roasted new potatoes with rosemary and then I just added carrots to it. The carrots have kind of dis not disintegrated but they've like shriveled up a bit so it's not actually loads but it's better than nothing. <laughs> and technically there's veggies in the, I mean there's dill <laughs> on the salmon so we've got a little bit of greenery going on. Hi, and we're doing a shop for children in need. Who wants to raise money? Me. So let's get in. Roll up, roll up. This is a teapot, but it's a china teapot and you can make it turn into a bag. Wow. It's mini mouse. And you can store anything you want inside. Your hair changed colour. Oh, it's just a wig. Do you want you can put oh. you can put all your buying things inside this little teapot bag. Okay? Do you wanna find some things? Find some things you want. You can have my secret. What do you want to put in your bag? And my hair change. Thanks for watching our video. We hope you have some nice shopping. I mean good children in need day. Because we are Whoa! Gotta get my tiny teapot. Uzi Baba. Uzi Baba. Uzi Baba. So it's not the same day because that day went away and I forgot to say thanks for stopping by and coming our way. But I didn't. But I didn't, Alessia, so I was just editing it up there and I realized that there was an empty video. So, I should probably get you. Head into the video. Because I don't want you to feel like I didn't learn to. Closure is important, Alessia. Yeah. Closure is very important. What do you want? What do you want? You want this? What is this? Is this what you want? Is now, is now, is your life just become amazing? Wendy. Wendy? Is it Wendy? Anyway, thanks birdie, for uh, birdie, thanks for stopping birdie, by today. Birdie. Bur oh, it's a birdie! It's a birdie. Hope you enjoyed the video, friends. And don't forget to hit that little like button. Birdie, Give us no comment or something. Birdie, Give us something to read birdie. later. Ow! The violence. The violence. The violence. I was bracing for it. Anyway, thanks for watching the video, guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Cheerio. You got and say. You got, got, is it got, don't hurt me. Have you got anything to say to them? Even though there's no one there, just a the camera.